Welcome back to the Brothers Workshop. As always, I'm Sean, and today, well, we've pulled old Patches here into the shop so we could give her a checkup. And we've realized that her thermostat needs replaced. In a previous video, linked right here, we replaced the sensor, thinking that would do the trick. Because the fan was staying on after we've turned the truck off, and the temperature was stuck at 160. Well, replacing the sensor worked for a short time, but it started again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace the thermostat itself. And I'm going to give you guys a detailed description on how that's done. But before we do, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That way you stay up to date on all the videos we have like this one coming out. And hit that like button for us, guys. That way we know you're getting value out of this video. And don't forget to hit us up at The Brothers Workshop on Instagram and Facebook. I ran over to Napa and picked up the new thermostat. It's gonna be a thermostat with the housing, and that part number is HT207-518. As you guys can see here, the thermostat is one piece. So it's all in one housing thermostat, it comes together. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this big plastic cover and get it out of the way. And we're going to do that by locating the pipe clamp in the center at the rear. There's two bolts that are going to need to be undone, and then this piece will pop right off. Also, to the left and right side are two little plugs on the gray plastic. They'll release and you pull it out. Then you can pull the plastic cover off, and I kind of just finagled it out of the way so I could get to the thermostat. All right guys, so the thermostat is located right here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull it off and just replace it. Next, there's two hoses that run into the thermostat. There's a little one and a big one. Next, we'll use our pliers to work the hose clamps off. And then we can remove the hoses. And remember, it's very important to do this while the truck's off and the engine's cool. Because these lines are pressurized and that coolant will shoot out at you. You'll notice that the thermostat is shaped like a triangle and in each corner is a screw. Use a socket set with an extension and undo the three screws. If you look in the top left corner where the coolant housing is, you can see it slowly drain out. That's because I didn't drain it at first and I thought that these clamps would work, but they didn't. Prepare yourself for a mess underneath the truck and have something to catch the coolant. Again, that's a fast motion replay of the coolant draining out.
I'm gonna remove the last hose here, and that's the bigger one. And with it comes the last of the remaining coolant. Once all the screws are undone, you could go ahead and pull the thermostat off, making sure you take the rubber grommet with it. So there's your side by side, the old one in my left and the new one in my right. And we're gonna put the new one in the exact same way the old one came out. And I'm going to start by hand tightening all the screws. Once I do that, I'll use my ratchet to tighten everything down. And then we're gonna reinstall the hoses. Don't forget to put the pipe clamp back into place after you attach the hose. Now I'm removing the clamps that I really didn't need in the beginning. And we're going to reattach the plastic intake cover. Slide it back on. Make sure everything's lined up properly. Take the hoses on the right and left and pop them back into place. They'll catch when they're in place. And don't forget to tighten down the final pipe clamp. As you can see here, that's the new thermostat. And the last thing we have to do is refill the antifreeze. We're going to have to use Dex Cool because apparently this truck is an aluminum motor and that's what this calls for. So we're going to go ahead and put some in be done with this. Really anybody with a minor automotive know-how and a can-do attitude can get this job done. It's a matter of taking the time and putting your mind to it and making sure you cross your T's and dot your I's. And you'll save yourself a couple bucks in the long run. Hey, and you might even learn something while you're doing it.
you stuck around this long, guys, I know you enjoyed the video. I know you learned something. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on anything else we have coming out. And hit that like button for us. That way you could tell us you actually enjoyed it and you got something out of it. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Brothers Workshop. And until next time, keep building.